the gays. Uncle Sam will cure the gays and free them of their agony. I am here at Parliament House to meet the head of the gays, independent Sydney MP, Mr. Alex Greenwich, in a bid to win their support. My dream is to have all of the gays behind me. Thank you for having me in your offices. No problem, welcome Sam. The problem right now with the gay marriage mm -hmm. is that people are not letting men marry men, women marry women. Correct. What happens if it was men and women? <laughs> so we change the man and man to man and woman. This one has the mind my language, sex change. I think that's a very insensitive comment. Are you married? I am married. You are married to a man? I'm married to a man. According to Australia law, are you married? No. What happens if your husband took sex change, become woman? <laughs> Would you marry him or her, even though it is him? Well, the, the person that I married, the person that I am in love with is, is Victor. Would you love Victor if he became Victoria? I love him for who he is, but he doesn't so want... So you would love him? But I, 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 would, I would love him, but it's not a process that, that I believe he wants to go through. But if he wanted to go through it... To, to simplify it in the terms that you just did is, is highly insulting. If you took that policy to, to the electorate, you would be widely condemned. Right, but do you understand the logic, though? I no, because I don't think you understand what you're talking about. As one person who just recently ran an election to, to another person... Okay. I think you need to, to... Well, you need to help me market these I things. I think you because need to, I'm not going to help you market those ideas because largely I, I think that they're quite ridiculous. So do you still think that I will get Prime Minister of Australia? I, I would highly doubt that. But so it's official. I have the Alex Crane, which is support. <laughs> and uh, they gave out. I don't think you do. It's been a great day. Thank you very much. Vote for Uncle Sam. I will legalise gay marriage with compulsory sex changes. What do you think about gay marriage? Oh, I love it. You love gay marriage? You interested? Well, um, you're making me a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> what we must do is we must change one of you into the man's, right? No. But you said you love her. I do love her. Do you love her unconditionally? <laughs> I love her as a her, not a him. To cure the gays, I'm going to need the best doctors in this country. So I'm here to see Australia's leading, mind my language, sex change surgeon. <laughs> if you have a man and a woman, is it possible to cut and swap it and paste it? Can you do this? Not at all. Because of the colour might not match. It's not a question of colour. But you're saying it takes roughly two hours for the procedure. So yes. we could fit in maybe four a day. Right now, I do approximately uh, 12 a year. Things are going to start looking a lot better for the doctor. I am here with the Reverend Fred Nile, who is the leader of the Christian Democratic Party. Try to imagine that you are the gay. How would you become ungay? It's, very, it's yeah. very difficult, but I, I, I have met a lot of homosexual men, okay. uh, and they are no longer homosexuals. How did you change them? I didn't change them, but God changed them. I have a cousin, his name is Faisal. He was a good, strong man. Until he watched the movie Sex and the City 2. All of a sudden, he comes home, he starts talking about emotions, cooking a lot, can't make decisions quickly. He's starting to act, show symptoms of being gay. Is the movie, the Sex and the City, and these shows doing bad influence like that? Yes, I think they all do have an influence on people's thinking. Yes. So, will you vote for Uncle Sam? <laughs> will you vote for me, Fred? No. Would you still love him if he was woman? Nah. What about if he became woman? Oh, I still love him the same. And then you can get married? That's right. That's right! We have the solution. Yeah. The campaign is stronger than ever because we have the gay vote. Come on, let's get everybody else. Come on! Woo!